Hello and welcome in this super short overview of uh, how it is to use face-to-face -face autopose arms. Okay, so it's really easy to, to, to autopose an arm. You just have to have a target in your scene. Here there are two targets, okay, and to select the face uh, of the hand or a prop parented to her hand of uh, a Genesis 3.8 or 8.1 figure and you have to launch one of those scripts. So this is the script if it's uh, for a parented prop. Here is a script for any face of the hand and those two are scripts for um, if you select faces on fingertips and you want to pose arms plus hand plus the two first articulations of fingers. And these with the reddish arms uh, correspond to the animation versions of these pose scripts. The targets can be used anywhere in place using the prop target, okay, or can be created using this on a selected face. Uh, so here the target is uh, really scaled up because the targets are very very small um, but you can scale them up it doesn't matter so I, I loaded the target scaled it up and placed it here okay but I could also create a target here so I select a face on uh, this um, on this prop and double click on create target okay and you see the target the small target is created here once this is done, the principle is very easy. You want to place this finger tip here. Uh, let's select the finger tip. Uh, let's select the tip of the nail, for instance, here uh, on this target. Okay. So let's uh, the the fingernail is selected. You just have to pose the arm. Okay. Uh, the target is, I think, the last created. Yes, that's it. So now the script is calculating um, the location of uh, the pose of the arm so that uh, the, the nail, the, the selected face, reaches uh, the target. Okay, um, that's the same here. Okay, you want to uh, place, uh, let's say, this nail here. I, I select this because I, I should select the, the other tip of the the other side, but it's to go faster in this video. Okay, and I want to place it on this target. So, okay, here I have this uh, window popping up because I have several targets. If you have only one target in your scene, uh, it doesn't ask anything. Okay, it's I think it's target plain bottom. Okay and uh, the arm pose is calculated so that it reaches the target plate. So let's say now that it has reached this and you don't like the angle of the end with the target, okay? You just have to uh, go in parameters, um, general, sorry, okay? And change, for instance, the twist, okay? And here you are going to tell me, yes, but it's not any longer on the target, but it doesn't matter since you just have to relaunch the script and this is on the target. Uh, it's as easy as that. Same here, if you don't like the angle, um, for instance, you want the arm to come more like this, okay? It, this will be recalculated a bit, but the twist of the forearm, the Yes, the forearm twist is never uh, recalculated. Okay, and this is the last target that we set in the scene. Oh, I forgot to select the face. So here I press escape, okay, to stop the convergence. I undo what I did and I'm going to select this again. So, okay, let's select the nail. So we have this time another pose and uh, Let's go to the last install target in the scene. So this way you can um, pose the arms and if you don't like the, the pose uh, with which uh, the arm is going to the target, then you just have to change the pose and relaunch the script. And in general, the convergence is faster uh, the second time. 
One important thing that I wanted to mention is that here, uh, what I have done is that uh, the outfit is set to smooth smoothing modifier off, okay? Otherwise, each time a bone is rotated, the smoothing modifi modifier is recalculated and it takes a lot of time. So it's better if you have a smoothing modifier off and of course, avoid doing this uh, with NVIDIA iRay Render Mode, okay, keep uh, texture shaded or maybe filament. I, I, I never did it with filament, but texture shaded is, uh, is fine. Um, okay, this was the principle. What we have to know that is that um, you have here the possibility to pose the arm, here the possibility to pose <coughs> Well, the arm and or the end and or the first articulation of a finger and or the second articulation of a finger. And this is set up here. And here, for instance, you want to pose everything with these, uh, with these two scripts here and here. You check every bones and you make apply bones. And next time that you um, select a fingertip, well, not only the arm, but also the end and the articulations of the finger will be posed. Okay, in a, a descending way or ascending way, up, up or down, let's say. Uh, and finally, if the figures hold, um, holds, <coughs> sorry, a prop, uh, the prop must be parent, parented directly to the hand, not, not something else. And uh, you can select a face on the, on the prop parented to the hand and apply this script. Okay, so that uh, the, f the face of the prop reaches the target. Well, that was all. I don't. I wanted to keep it short. You have more detail in other videos, more detail in documentations, and I'll always be available on those forums if you have more questions.